An exhibition called Day Light Night showing in Istanbul explores how natural light creates different atmospheres. The creative minds behind the project are exploring natural lighting for inspiration about how we can illuminate our own lives. Sunlight makes us healthy and happy. Moonlight relaxes us. They both produce beautiful colors while also lighting our environments. So how does nature do it? What's its secret? Architects, designers and artists came together to try to answer some of these questions. They created nine installations at the Istanbul Modern Museum, like this one called Light Carousel. It imitates how Istanbul's scenery changes throughout the day. Each of its four sides represents a time of day and has its own unique beauty to it. Another installation by Bilgehan Şenel represents the unique colors of Istanbul's skyline formed when sunlight reflects off the Bosphorus. The glass prisms are made with eight colors and represent the skyline at sunset. As the sun is setting, the colors begin to mix with one another and form warmer colors like orange and burgundy. I use this three-dimensional setup to express this. Other installations represent moving light and reflected light. By improving our understanding of how natural light works, designers can better imitate it to improve our moods and well-being. Visitors can explore day, light, night themselves until January the 22nd, but the sun is likely never to set on its study and ideas. Istanbul Modern hosts Day Light Night, an exhibition celebrating the 25th anniversary of Tepta Lightning. The conceptual framework of the exhibition was inspired, by the way, Istanbul's temperament varies depending on the hour and weather conditions of the day. Tepta Head of Brand Strategy, Özlem Yalım, is our guest today in the studio. Thank you very much for joining us today. You're welcome. So, uh, first of all, what is the inspiration behind, behind Day Light Night? Could you tell us more? Yes, as TEPTA, we are uh, ser giving services to architects, electrical engineers and designers for 25 years. And when it comes to celebrate this uh, business uh, on our anniversary, we decided to make a very collaborative event where we can share all our experiences as well as celebrating the practices of architecture and design. Uh, the best way was uh, to prepare an exhibition for this uh, because when you uh, make an exhibition you can invite the architects and designers to be more creative about the subject which is light at this point and you can also create a nice show for the audiences in order to understand what is it about. So it was the main inspiration I made. And you were inspired by Istanbul's temperament. Um, it's not a very dark city every hour, uh, day and night. So how would you describe it? Yes, actually the idea derived from the um, Bosphorus. Mm -hmm. We were staring at the Bosphorus with our crater uh, and she was uh, sh seeing the Bosphorus changing light uh, at different hours of the day. Uh, it became a totally different vision. Uh, sometimes it was so, so red, sometimes it was so uh, bluish. And she was uh, very amazed uh, uh, with this view. And she said that why not pushing natural light and why not uh, making a connection with the city that we have. Uh, also, it was a very beautiful idea for us because we are uh, bringing some global brands to Turkey and represent them in Istanbul. So we like the idea that it is connected with the Istanbul as well. And when you talk about natural light, what does it mean for designers and artists and architects? Uh, actually, yes, as designers and architects, uh, we are dealing with artificial spaces. We create spaces. Sometimes we build some walls between the natural life, light and the human body. Um, this makes us sometimes forgetting about the natural light, which is very important. It is a health factor uh, other than the aesthetics. Uh, light is very important for the health of a person. Uh, our sleeping nights, 
uh, our daylight uh, efficiency at the offices are all uh, depending on the uh, potential of the light. Uh, so um, as designers and architects, we need to put more natural light into these artificial spaces. And in our exhibition, we wanted to underline this mm -hmm. concept. Also, I think there's a philosophy uh, behind it, which comes from the, from the German philosopher Kant. Um, before everything was cold and dark, until light came. Yeah. So, how is the connection between philosophy, uh, light, and design? Oh, I may answer your question in both ends. One is, of course, the connection between philosophy and design, mm -hmm. and the other is light. Um, light is the uh, um, starting point of everything. When you think about that, uh, you start the day uh, with the sunlight and the plants uh, grow with the light, uh, your health is depending on the night, and when you decide to sleep is when the light is off. So our natural life is all around the light. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, when you come to design, uh, design is about telling stories, which is directly connected with the philosophy. Uh, so these three main concepts are really very strong to create and to talk about. So. Actually, if we think about it, how much natural light do we use in our own space? Are we using it enough nowadays? Actually, in the modern life, in the residences, in the offices, we are not. We are not using the correct lighting, mm -hmm. I may say, uh, which makes us very nervous. For example, in the rainy days, you don't have enough life, uh, enough, enough light, uh, so you you feel very depressed and you feel very uh, slow. Maybe your mood is very low. This is all because of the uh, quality of light that we have. Uh, when you think about this in an artificial office, if the light is very low and not correct, you will all also feel the same feelings. The mood is low and you are depressed at the office, which uh, affects your uh, efficiency directly. So we could actually change our houses and offices a little bit more to get the lighting in so we can be happier. Yes, sure, yes, sure. In the houses we always recommend yellowish lights and when you go to night time you have to dim the light yes. and uh, prepare yourself for the long healthy sleep. So last question, you worked with Ulrike Brandi, um, she's the creator of the exhibition and founding director of UBL. Um, why is the reason you worked with Ulrike Brandi? Why was she important for this project? Thank you for asking this question, because Ulrike Brandi is one of the significant figures in lighting industry in uh, the global uh, design arena. Uh, she has been responsible for the city lighting of Rotterdam or Hamburg as well, and she's a very, very uh, well knowledge person for this. And and when we create an exhibition, we most probably uh, ask the creator's show uh, idea in order to um, put all the things into a conceptual frame. Mm -hmm. uh, we brought together nine designers into this uh, exhibition and Ulrike helped them to find their path, find their way in this conceptual frame. Uh, she wrote nine books uh, about lighting and she's a very, very well-known person. And she put too much effort for our exhibition with her experience. Thank you very much, Aslam Yalun, for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.